Good afternoon, and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends. <laughs> Why are you singing like that? Hello. Why are you singing it? Like, are you like, hello? Why are you singing? Oh, you know, I don't know why. Tell me. Oh, hi. Hang on. News, hang on. News, hang on. News, hang on. News, hang, on. News. hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hi, friends of the podcast, <laughs> and go. <laughs> I got news. I just remembered. What? <sighs> What's your news? I am going to donate to Omaze so that I can go sing on the stage with Michael Bublé in Las Vegas. No, you're not. La, 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 la. No, you're not. Cry me a river. Oh, the jackknife <laughs> has lots of teeth no, here. No, no, he doesn't sing that. And I sing other people's songs. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He has well, one yes, of his he own. Does, but he has, no, he, he has, has one song of his own. No, I'm very excited. I got that on my Instagram feed. And I'm like, <gasps> shut and up. And you get to take a guess and it would be me. Uh, no. It would have to be me. No, because you hate him. Yeah, bye. So I take no one with me. You're gonna go to him. Yeah, well, really? But it's okay <laughs> yeah. for, but it's okay for me to hate him and take you. <laughs> That makes no sense, Samantha. Your husband bought me those tickets. Oh, are you dating my husband now? No. Because you, I'm just saying that he appreciates me. He appreciates me. Well, apparently I must too because I'm taking you. Right? <laughs> he appreciates you to pay for it. He doesn't appreciate you enough to go with you. That's the difference, I'm right? not asking him to go with I me. I know. Apparently I'm going with but you. But I'm so excited. So I, I do get to go to Vegas no, but, too. So then I went onto the web. I'm like, oh, for $25 I get this many votes. For $50 I get this many votes. Let's do it. Like, <gasps> How many votes? Like a thousand for fifty bucks. Huh. I'll do fifty. You wanna each do fifty? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna go? No, you have to no. and then it's a draw. Like you know how many no. people are okay, like actually paying. That's like the lottery. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's man. bullshit. Okay. Can I get can but I But I got really excited can I get back to like, now? I got excited for five minutes. You did. Okay. And the world appreciates that. No, because apparently we're going all the way back to Lisa. Because <laughs> I'm having a problem with my ear with my earbud. I don't care. I do. No, I don't. Here's the problem. Okay? I think I have a waxy ear buildup. You do. You're dirty. I'm not dirty. Yes, you are. I clean my ears every day with a Q-tip. <laughs> but I can't seem... There's like... I can tell. Because <laughs> when I go to put my earbud in, it doesn't feel like it goes in all the way. No, because there's wax there. Because you're dirty. I'm not dirty. Yes, you are. I'm like the world's cleanest woman. <laughs> Samantha. I'll tell you this. I shower more than you. <laughs> I know... That I know for a fact. How do you know? I just do. What, do you shower twice a day? At least. I for sure shower twice a day. I'm a two-time-a-day shower. Well, that's why your skin's all scaly. It doesn't matter. It's because it's minus 42. That's why my skin <laughs> skin is scaly. How's your skin? <laughs> my skin's good because I use lotion. Your skin just looks old. My skin's not old. It looks like it's old skin. Really? Yeah. You're old. I, I'm not as old as you. Yes, you no, are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm going to stomp my feet soon. Because <laughs> you're five. Samantha. Deep down. Can we get back to the podcast? What? I'm just saying. Okay? What? You tell me what. I'm not going to talk to you right now. <sighs> I feel like I need a time out from you. <laughs> I gave you some really good news and you kind of never even really cared. Uh, I'm what? About the first signs of summer. Ah... Uh, Right. The Meadow Lake cabin. Yes. Hilda sent out. The Gibson cabin. The Hilda sent out the email. All right. I penciled us in. All right. August 5th to 10th. All right. All right. Okay. So we're already locked in. We're locked it's ours. in. I ordered some beautiful weather with no smoky <laughs> sky this year. Right? Do you think she can deliver? Well, you know what? She delivered on the beach last year. She did. And so I'm going to have to believe yes. I'm going to back up Hilda for 100, All Alex. Right. They'll uh, probably have even more beach this year. I know. Right? That'll be exciting. Yeah. So that's the first sign of summer. It is the first. Right? Getting the email about, hey, when do you want to go when to the cabin? When do you want to go to the cabin? <laughs> right? Cause, because it was filling up. Oh. It was filling up. Oh. Yeah. So people I'm like, are all of a sudden excited about the Gibson cabin I guess yet? so. I guess people have freer schedules this, this upcoming summer. Or they can't afford it and that's it's cheap. Well, it is cheap. Because it's gas there and back. It is. And then you and, and some, some food. food. And then... That's about it. It's just some, and your beer. And your beer. And your beer. And, your beer. and that's all. So, <laughs> that's all you need. So that was the first good news of summer. <laughs> cool. Yeah, summer's coming. I'm enjoying that. I know. Beats the hell out of what's going on today. I know, but I think you need to share with the, with the rest of the world oh. your denture problem in the cold. Oh. Who knew? Oh, what was me? <laughs> so here's the thing, friends of the podcast. <laughs> A while back, Samantha outed me. <laughs> And let the world know that I have fake teeth. That was so long ago. Yeah, I know. It was so, so long, long ago. ago. <laughs> so now that I'm apparently comfortable with the fact that I have fake teeth. Yes. Right? I need to share. So you don't even understand. 
Here's the thing. When it's this cold, you know, you get outside and your teeth chatter? Yes. Okay. So my teeth still chatter, even though they're not my teeth. They're fake ones. <laughs> but you have to use extra adhesive. <laughs> adhesive. Yeah. Because that's a hard word to say. Adhesive. <laughs> adhesive. Sounds like like you're going to sneeze. Adhesive. Adhesive. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> you have to use extra adhesive to keep your teeth in. Because our teeth, they still chatter. Yes. Right? And then all of a sudden... Because when, you're still cold. Yeah. So then when you go inside, your teeth have loosened. Right. And then it's like they don't fit your mouth properly. And then they feel they're all like kind of rattly in there because that happened to me yesterday. Oh right. Because I had an appointment. And by the time I got into the appointment and the lady's like, can I see your health card? I felt like, oh, shit, I think my teeth are loose. Right? So I put a little extra on today because I knew it would be cold and we're in the car. And it's like minus 42. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is that crazy? So, funny. so who knew? Hey, no. Who knew what Not denture me. wearers go through? What? Right. And if you didn't know, now you do. Now you do. That's how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Watching, kind of, not really, sort of not really intrigued by it, the world's best. Yes. James Corden is the host. I only watched it because of him. Uh-huh. And, and because the HHG had sent a message saying, are you going to watch this? Well, and I like RuPaul. I like RuPaul, too. Yeah. Yeah. I like him in anything, actually. Yeah. Um, Faith Hill. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Mm. You know, but you know what? She's come a long way. Remember when she like did drugs? She's come a long way. <laughs> this is what you remember about Drew Barrymore? Yeah, and E.T. <laughs> and E.T. That's where she lives in my life is doing drugs at 14. <sighs> okay, right? but I, I think your problem lies with the host. I think he's becoming really gimmicky. Because you know what? We don't need a male Ellen. Oh. We don't need a male Ellen, do we? I didn't realize you were going there. That's where I'm going. Oh, do you see the similarities? Oh, kind of. Similar hair. <laughs> I'm just saying we don't need a male Ellen uh-huh. and I think that's where he's going right oh that's unfortunate and I really love him I love like, no I like he's James part Gordon. of our squad yes right yes I enjoy him but I need him to just stick to the basics of what he does you need him to be him I need him to be on his talk show mm-hmm. doing some carpool karaoke uh-huh. and like uh, just his just his shtick there his shtick I don't need him in other places no because sometimes then I think it's like they become too like we spread them too thin Right? And they like can't, Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. And then they can't be their very best at everything, right? <laughs> so then something has to give, right? So Ryan Seacrest, he can't be his very best in American Idol anymore. So something gives because now he's being stretched too thin by Kelly. Right? <laughs> so that's, you know, that's my thing with James. He's being stretched okay. too thin, mm-hmm. right? Well, J-Lo does the same thing, though. But J-Lo's different. How is J-Lo different? Because what else does J-Lo do? She doesn't have her own show. Yeah, well, she used to have a TV show, a TV series. I know, but nobody watched it, so nobody cared. Okay, and then right. she does movies. She, she doesn't do movies she anymore. She does her dancing show. I know that, but she doesn't do movies anymore. She really, no. She it's, does. It's a bad, she just a, put out a movie over Christmas. Like what? But it's it called was Second it, Chances. Who watches it? Nobody. Everybody. Leah Remini was in it. Okay, so that's fine. But that's because that's her best friend. <laughs> Right? That'd be like if I did a movie and you were in it. Right? Doesn't make you the world's best actress. It just makes you my best oh, friend in a movie. That was a, I, I think that was a bit of a slam. No, it's I don't a, appreciate it. It can't be a slam because I, I don't want to be in your goddamn movie. Okay, well, that's fine because I told them that you weren't going to be. I said I would like the role of my new best friend to be played by Leah Remini. That's who I'm taking. Right? That's who my new best friend is. Uh, okay, but speaking of movies. Yeah. Why are they remaking Dumbo? Did you see the preview? No. Okay. So we don't have kids. Just heard about it. We don't have kids. So I don't know. I'm not up on my Disney folklore and all that bullshit, <clears> right? Because <throat> I don't have kids. So I don't need to watch Pinocchio and things like that. Uh-huh. However, when I saw the the trailer for Dumbo, I'm like, out of all of the shows that I think are the most unbelievable, I shouldn't say all, all the ones I know. So there's like three, right? <laughs> I think Dumbo is one of the top ones. Uh-huh. Cause is it believable that a 700 pound elephant can fly? No. no. Right? So it's bad enough that it's not believable in a story cartoon. Uh-huh. But now it's not, be- it's really now not believable with real people in it. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, why is it? Now, because it's, now it's really not now believable. Now it's really not. Un, now it's really not believable. Right. So that little glimmer of hope that the world held out that there was an elephant that flew because his ears were too big. Oh my God. Right. Now that's just been trashed. <laughs> it's just gone now. It's just done. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm just. It's like yeah. there's no Prince Charming. No. There's no. <gasps> what? Yes. There's no real Cinderella. There's no Cinderella. Damn it. Yes. No Rapunzel? No Rapunzel. She never let her hair down. That's a I'm story. Like, my life, I'm, it's over. Right? There's no I'm snow. Crushed. There's no divorce. <laughs> there's, right? What? 
What? Nope. It's it's all make believe. I really Samantha. enjoyed Sleepy. Did you? Yeah. yeah. No. Gone. Doc. Gone. Happy. Gone. <laughs> Sneezy. Gone. Gone. Right. <laughs> Bashful. Nope. Right. Snow White. Nope. <laughs> Fairy Godmother, no. Ooh, evil witch. Still yeah. exists, absolutely, yeah. right? That part still exists. <laughs> so that's my thing, right? Why do they have yeah. to take... Next there's going to be a movie about Pinocchio, and it's going to be a man whose nose grows. And then I'm going to be like, that's so fake. Keep it in the book. <laughs> Keep it to a cartoon. Keep it to a cartoon. <laughs> Keep it, right? I don't want to see a man with strings on his hands, <laughs> right? I don't want to see him as a marionette, <sighs> right? I don't want to see a real-life Geppetto. No. I don't want to see any of those things. No. All right? Unless Jiminy Cricket is... I don't want to see that as a real thing, right? I don't want to see, <laughs> right? What would Jiminy Cricket look like? Well, they're going to make they're gonna make him bigger like they did with the Incredible Hulk, and he's going to be way too big, and it's not going to make any sense. Yeah. Right? That's going to be weird. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Do All they right. need... Why does everything have to be touched? I don't... <laughs> Stop touching things. Lisa. Samantha. It's a trend. Don't. Everybody, I right? Know. I Me too. You. Don't touch. Okay. But okay. speaking of things uh-huh. that aren't real, mm. the McRib... I have an issue. <laughs> I have an issue. Apparently there's like sauce. There's a sauce that I you was, can buy? I was taunted by, you ready for this? I was taunted by the McRib locator. So I have the McRib what? locator app, right? Okay. Yeah. That lets me know, that taunts me periodically to let me know that the McRib is everywhere but where you are, Lisa. <laughs> right? So it's here, it's there. So the McRib and locator, everywhere. the McRib locator the other day taunted me with, how about McRib sauce? That's not funny. So where can you buy it? It didn't say. <gasps> oh. It didn't even say. I don't even know where it is. You're the it, McRib bitch. I am the McRib bitch. <laughs> I love the McRib. <laughs> and don't taunt me with the sauce because you know what? You making that sauce? That if that if remember how they did like the Big Mac sauce and all that sort of stuff? Uh huh. If the McRib sauce comes out, oh, I tell you, that's gonna be my new water bottle. I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking it. I'm just gonna be drinking it. That sounds disgusting. Well, it would be disgusting. You're a little bit gross that way. Whatever. I love a good sauce. Okay, but you know what? Mm. Okay. Okay. So, like, they're messing with Dumbo. Yeah. And now they want to mess <gasps> with a Canadian staple. They took away your straw. God damn it! Nothing's enough. Enough. Like they can't. That's the problem. They're take. They're, they're 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 two kids. Two kids. God bless them. From Calgary, Alberta. Yeah. Tim Hortons, you need to make your cups reusable. Two 12-year-old kids. How about, mm. dear 12-year-old kids, you know what? You're too young for coffee. No offense. Go to school. Mess with shut somebody up. else's stuff. Yeah, like, pick on another one. Pick on Please. Dunkin' Donuts or something. I am not drinking out of a weird cup that makes my hand hot. Yeah. Okay? And I'm not bringing in my own cup to Tim Hortons. No, because... That's then, not the point. Because how do you even play the game then? Because... No offense, in Canada, when you walk around with the Tims, you're like, yeah. oh, I could use one of those. Yeah, exactly. It's so it's the best, ingrained. It's the best form of advertising. Ingrained. Right? And I Canadian. think I watch people in the mall all day, and I bet you every fifth person has a Tim Hortons cup. So we're going to mess with the cup. We're going to mess with the cup. They're like, because make it compostable, make it greener. But it's all because of the roll-up to rim, to rim, yes. to win, right? Because everybody drinks it a million yeah. times a day. Yeah, right, because everybody wants, hopes to win in a car. Hopes to win in a donut. I just want a donut. I just want to win a donut. I don't even give a hoot. Really? Just don't mess with the cup. No, but that's the problem, right? People got too much time on their hands. Yes, they do. And are the cups at some point not biodegradable? It's paper. I don't mm, right? I don't know. I, I understand you want to change the lid. Uh-huh. Get rid of the hard plastic lid. I get okay. that. Change the lid. Whatever. Modernize the lid. Whatever. 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 Right? But you make that cup as thin as like a piece of paper? It already burns your hands. Right? What's the point of drinking Tim's Horton coffee then? Exactly. I'll just drink it at home. Yeah. Right? In a cup. In a cup. In a mug. But then you won't <laughs> play the roll up the rim. No. But here, speaking of the Tim Hortons, I got an issue. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm jumping the gun. Uh-oh. I'm jumping the gun. So so because it's Valentine's Day, uh-huh. they advertise the Be Mine Donuts. Yes. The Tim Hortons I went to, they advertised it. There's no Be Mine Donut there. There's no Be Mine Donut. <laughs> what happens if there's somebody... At my work. You want to give a Be Mine Donut. That I want them to be mine. <laughs> and I want to buy them a Be Mine Donut. Well, for one thing. To just kind of like break It would be a little creepy, Lisa. <laughs> and uh, and I feel sorry for them. <laughs> right off the bat. Really? Yeah. What's wrong with being mine? I'm just saying. Because that sounds creepy. That's what be it's called. Be Mine. The, the Be Mine Donut. It's the Be Mine Donut Smith. That. What? Okay, but even just Be Mine. Yeah. Like, sounds... 
no person can be someone else's. Like, do you understand what be I'm saying? Be my Valentine. Do you get what I'm laying down? Be mine Valentine. That's what it is. <laughs> so it's like, be mine. Have a donut. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's very aggressive, hey? Yeah. You know what? It's not really I'm very... Sorry. It's I'm sorry. I'm taking this in the It's not very, <laughs> not very like, warm and fuzzy. No, it's not. No, right? No, it's no. not. Be mine is like, be mine. Right? Why aren't you mine? Yeah, well, you know... <laughs> Maybe that's what people wonder is why they're not ours. Sorry. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. I, the moral of the yeah. story was that the donut wasn't there. So even if there was somebody at my work that I wanted to be mine, I can't even participate. I got nothing to offer. So basically, they let you down. Mm-hmm. They did. All right. They did. Well, but you maybe know what? next time they can let you down with a cup of coffee that burns your hand. That burns my hand. Because we've gone to a compostable cup yeah. mm. that is as thin as paper. And no offense, I'm never bringing in my own mug. I'm never doing no, that, right? Neither am I. Like I care about the environment and I want to be a good environmental person, <laughs> but I, yes I do. Yes I do. I want to be. I want to be. You want to be. I want to be, right? It's up there. I think the word that we all need to emphasize on is want. I want to be. I want to be. And in my mind I am. I'm a good partner that way. Right? <laughs> in the make believe world. Oh, yeah, okay. But you know what didn't let me down? Oh, I know. Ted Bundy did yeah, not let me down. Yeah, I figured you'd be all over that. Ted Bundy did not let me down. <laughs> Ted Bundy did not. Uh, I watched it all. Cre- creepy? Um, yes, because he's a serial killer. Hi. 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 He killed a lot of people. He did kill a lot of people. That's... He killed more than he confessed to, too. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, for sure he did. He was killing. He was killing all over the place because he had cash, right? So he could go to places. Right, because he was a lawyer. Because he was a lawyer, (gasps) or he was a law student. He was—I think he was a lawyer too. Mm -hmm. It was like so compelling and diabolical. Every serial killer, Samantha, needs to have tapes, Tapes. right, for people to listen to. Get into that crazy old mind. Uh Yeah, and he denied it right till the end, but then he confessed. Really? Yeah, because he thought that it would save his life. Right? Huh? Because they were going to execute him. But they did, anyways. They did. Absolutely, they did. Huh? Because he got sloppy. Because that's what they do, right? It's like on General Hospital right now. There's a serial killer, and he got sloppy, right? So he's going to get caught soon because he's sloppy. Who is it? Well, okay. So it's 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 it, it's not Franco, even though that's who they're saying it is. It's not Franco, right? He crazy, though. I know, but that was because he had a brain tumor, right? So he's not crazy. He's not crazy. I'm not telling you who it is, right? Because you don't watch, right? You don't watch. So I'm just saying. But the, But watch Friends of the Podcast. Watch the Ted Bundy. It was interesting. Very okay. interesting. Speaking of things I'll never watch. Yeah. State of the Union. I tried because I'm a <laughs> I, I, I'm American junkie. Uh huh. Right. And it messed with the TV. Yeah, I know. It took our new Amsterdam took away. All the stuff. Took away. all the good shows away on Tuesday. Sucked. Yeah. So did the State of the Union. Uh-huh. And I watched them, right? Because I'm that girl. And I can't. You know what? I can't do it. I can't watch them. I can't stand. I can't stand how he talks. And I just, ugh, couldn't do it. I don't and know you are that want. person. I am. I am. It's my season. Yeah. Right? And I couldn't do it. I couldn't get invested in it. I tried. I even tried again. I went back to it later. I still couldn't. Really? Yeah. Only thing that I thought was odd was that his daughter, Tiffany, right? Like, uh-huh. she's kind of like like the ugly one. She uh, she was dressed in all white. Uh-huh. And some of the congresswomen were dressed in all white for sol- to show solidarity. <laughs> and I thought it was odd that, like, his daughter was all in white, too. Right? It's like she didn't get the memo. Right, that she should, <laughs> she probably shouldn't be supporting them. She should be supporting Daddy, right? So, so what is she supposed to be wearing then? What color? Uh, not white, I don't think. I don't think white was the color. Blue, because doesn't he always wear navy blue? Yeah, yeah, he's always in Brings navy. Brings out the color in his eyes. Brings out his beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> but that's just he's just messed up. I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't even go there. Okay, so right. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. You did? I know. No. You didn't even watch Adam Levine. No. Which is weird because I thought you were going to. No. 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 What were I you was, watching? I was sorely not invested in anything to do. With no, that. you weren't. So, but you know what though? Uh, Who turns out to be the smart one? That's you, because the game was horrible. Yes, I heard it was horrible. Worst game in the whole wide world. Yeah. And uh, Tom Brady won. Boo. Right. <laughs> now he's got six. Yeah. And uh, Adam Levine like stunk up the place. Apparently, that's exactly what everybody was yeah. saying, that he was horrible. Like It wasn't that he was horrible, but it just wasn't, like, Super Bowl worthy. Really? Yeah. Right? Because when you have, like, 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 like you know, you had you had uh, Lady Gaga, yeah. you had Justin Timberlake. Well, and Katy Perry put on the Katy Perry, show. right? Bruno Mars. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Beyonce no. Beyonce was on there. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. 
He made a couple of years ago. Chris Martin was on from um, Coldplay. Yeah, made him look good. Wow. I know they did nothing. And don't get me wrong, Adam Levine, take that shirt off. That's fine. Well, and then there was Nipplegate. Nipplegate. <laughs> but isn't it different? Because <laughs> traditionally men are known to take off their shirts. Oh, because apparently it's okay for them to be it half is. naked it is from completely. the waist up. It is completely okay for them. Because seeing their nipples isn't as big as seeing the woman's bosoms. I'm okay seeing his nipples. Right? And they're all tattooed up anyway, so nobody cares. Right? And it went along with the song, right? Because he moves like Jagger, and then he was like being all like sexy. Right? So even still, when he did that... That's not, all he was. Not he was good just, enough. He just was sexy. That's it. That's all. Not exciting. No. Boo. 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 Yeah. Huh. So, yeah, Super Bowl. Play. That's exciting. Yeah, nothing exciting there at all. Okay, but I heard... Yeah. Down the pipe. Yeah. Adam... From the Odd Dad Out. From the Odd Dad Out. Mm-hmm. Found out... There's apple pie Oreos. Oreos are going a little crazy. I don't know what's going on. Like every- My world is crashing around down around <coughs> me. Every time. Still got a little bit of my cold, eh? Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Samantha. You know what? Yeah. Doing okay. Thanks. <laughs> right? You're welcome. Yeah. So every time I turn around, there's something new to do with Oreos, okay. right? Yeah. And because we draw a lot of attention to Oreos, yes. right? I think that, and Adam saw them, so yes. Adam sent us, and sent us a picture. Okay. And they're apple pie Oreos. Ooh. I'm kind of curious because right on the package, just so we're clear, right on the package, it says that the cookie is going to taste like graham crust. That had my attention. <laughs> that caught my attention. That right? would. Yeah, because I love a good gram. Right? Yes, you do. Right? Remember that time, remember, we were at the dollar store, and I'm like, <clears throat> I could just buy it, put it with some butter, and just eat the gram, the gram. I could just make a plate of gram <laughs> crust. I could do that easily. It seems wrong. It was completely wrong, but I could still, that doesn't mean I can't do it. <laughs> doesn't mean I can't do it, Samantha. So does this mean you're going on an Oreo quest? Mm, no, because they're probably not in Canada. No, because right? nothing's in Canada. Nothing's in Canada. Nothing is ever no, in Canada. nothing's in Canada. All the good Pop-Tarts in the Americas. I know, right? America. Even the HHG, it was funny because she sent me a picture the other day, and I don't know how, when, last time she was in America, but she sent a picture, and it was of her daughter looking at, like, all these Pop-Tarts. And I'm like, that's so awesome. Right? But it's not in Canada. No. Because no. we get two flavors. Yeah. Yeah. It's boring. Kind of boring, hey? Very boring. I know, super boring. No good food ever comes up here. The McRib doesn't come here, <laughs> right? Like and we're the, back there again, folks. The, the good Pop-Tarts don't come here, <laughs> right? I don't understand it. Okay, uh, can I tell you a story? Yes. So, because it's been so cold, right? Yes. I drove Mike to work because... Well, you, and, were, then, and then you set the bar a little higher for all wives uh, I across did again, the world. right? I did. I did. Because you know what? When I'm a good wife, I'm a real damn good wife. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. So because he works nights, right? And it's uh-huh. so cold. It's getting to like minus 50 at night, right? And he can't plug the car in. Oh, that's and so cold. It's so cold, right? And so like he said, right? Like he doesn't want to leave the car all night. No. Because it might not start in the morning or whatever. So so good wife, Lisa, I'll drive you, dear. And this is like, you know, I'm a good wife. I'll drive him, but I'm not volunteering to pick him up. Right? You, can take a, <laughs> you can take a cab. But here's the funny thing. So I'm driving back. And I'm listening to the radio, right? Because my talk radio is not really okay, on. Okay, and by the way, I hey. was really afraid that you'd forget where you lived. GPSed it. No, I, I GPSed no. it. Yeah, I put it in my GPS. You know you just go up 11th, yeah. go onto the highway, no, cause I go to the lows. I don't drive very often. Oh so I had to G- so I GPSed it just in case. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I GPSed it. So it took me. I got home safe. My bigger issue is I don't drive at night. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. Right? And then the HHG's like, don't text. Sorry. <laughs> right? And you said something. I'm like, you're like, be safe. I will. As I'm like texting and driving. Yes. And I didn't text you back. I know. And neither did she. Right? So you both are kind of the same that way. But okay. So here's the funny thing. Right? Is that I'm listening to the music. You ready for this? Uh-huh. This blew my mind. Uh-huh. Did you know? You don't know. I didn't know this about myself. So of course you're not going to know this about me. I'm a musical prodigy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Do you know how I know? So the, here I'm listening <sighs> to the song. All right, I'm listening. I'm like, hey, uh, what's this song? You know what song it was? No, because we don't really know the song. Dire Straits. You know that band? Yes. So out of nowhere, Samantha, <laughs> out of nowhere, this is me. Money for nothing and your checks for free, right? And then I'm like, 
still drive it and, and I'm kind of surprising myself because I'm like I don't even know the words to the song and then all of a sudden should have learned to play the guitar should have learned to play them drums and I'm like oh my god I'm a musical prodigy no you're not Hi, but I just know these no, things no you're not yes it's a really old song yeah I know you got an in store microwave you, oven okay do you know how many custom times custom fit delivery no do you know how many times that song in probably in one day when it was initially released was yeah. probably playing and you probably heard it a million 30 times 30 years ago a million times. 30 years ago for me to just be able to recall it it's like kind of like a little bit like rain man no that it's way. not yes no it's not right i bet you i wonder if i can count cards no you can't i, bet you, I might be able to count cards oh my god it's like a new hidden talent no i'm just like no i blew my mind yes and i'm like what band is this and and i'm like it's dire straits right Oh my God. How do you even, how do I even know that? Yes, Lisa. I know. Isn't that crazy? Uh huh. That was so crazy. Okay. Musical prodigy. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for Samantha. sharing. Yeah. Slippers? No slippers. Of course, slippers. At home? Yes. So you get home. Uh huh. Do your feet not get hot? Well, usually, right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> By the time I get home, yeah. I got cold feet. You got cold feet. I got cold. Why aren't you wearing a winter boot foot? Yeah, because that's so what your feet want to know. I, when I get home, and I, you know, get changed yeah. into my comfy stuff. Yeah. I put on the slippers. So you don't walk around just in bare feet? No. Why? Well, and then if I do, it's in the summer. Yeah. And But right now, it's either socks or my slippers. But right now, I'm in favor. And so Sunday, slippers. you're at home. You're in your comfy stuff. And I wear my slippers. Really? Yeah. Not me. Well, because you're hot all I'm the bare time. Feet. Yeah, I'm bare feet. The other day I had on a pair of woolly socks and Mike's like, what the hell? <laughs> and I'm like, I know. I'm wearing some woolly socks. <laughs> you know, like the woolly ones with the colored toes. Uh, yes. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, I think I'm looking pretty cool. Oh, As God. I'm like staring down in at my... In your capri pants and your tank top. <laughs> I had on... <laughs> I was in like a long lounging pant. I have a black pant that's like kind of like not a track pant. It's lighter than that. Okay. And my tank top and my woolly sock. And <laughs> tank top right? and your woolly sock. And the fan going. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, Super good look. Super good look. Super fashionable. I don't, but never slippers me, ever. I think you should maybe. Oh, like, I remember like years ago I had a moccasin. Did you ever have a moccasin? <laughs> we all Everybody had, had a moccasin. A moccasin Everybody's Lisa. had a moccasin, right? <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> Did you wear mucklucks when you were a kid? No. No. I did. I had a pair. Really? Yeah. yeah. They were super warm. I had a cougar boot. Because <laughs> they were super cool. Because they were not. That's where we differ. No. Yeah. Yeah, but now you wear Sorrells because you're so I don't wear any boot, actually, right? <laughs> There's still, I haven't worn a boot yet this winter, right? So I own a pair. You have been pair. known to sport a pair. <laughs> when I go to a football game outside. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. It's the only time. Speaking of sport events. Yeah. WWE. I went. I went. You got ready to rumble. I rumbled. <laughs> I went. Um, and here's the funny thing, right? Out of the blue at work, HHG says that she was going to get tickets. And I'm like, why? You don't even like... <laughs> out of all the sporting events that you could decide to go to, you want to go see wrestling? wrestling? And then she said that Bryce, her husband, is a big wrestling fan. What? Who knew? He saw them in Philadelphia. He saw wrestling in Philadelphia. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So so she went and got, so she ordered tickets. Aw. Yeah. They weren't near us, but apparently they were close to us. Yeah, see, so she took a picture of the top of your head. Which is kind of funny, hey? You and Mikey. We were, we were texting back and forth. So it was so, like, it was such a good event. Mike was so excited. Was he? Yeah. Get these hands. <laughs> yes. Right? And uh, <laughs> I had my rink burger. And I had my mini donuts. You know what? Donuts are better than Regina. What? Yes. Because the ones in Saskatoon, they put into like a container, a plastic container. Yeah. They need to be in a bag. Really? Yeah. Because in the container, all the stuff goes to the bottom. bottom. And I get that they do in the bag too. But guess what? In the bag, I can't see that. But you could shake them up in a bag. Yeah. In the container, you can't shake them because there's no lid. No. And all I'm looking at the bottom, and I'm like, all the good stuff is down there. <laughs> and you know what? I don't want to see all the good stuff. No, you don't. If, if, if it's you want to eat the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, and if it's not going to stick to the donut, I don't want to. I don't want it to kind of like tease me, right? Because then when you get to the bottom of it, Mike's like, what are you going to do now? Well, you know what? If I was at home, I'd, I'd just turn it upside down and eat the sugar. But I'm in a public place, right? And I got manners. I'm classy that way, Samantha. You're classy. I'm a classy girl, right? <laughs> this is coming from the person yeah. who loves a good rink burger. Right. So I'm a classy girl. So all I did was I just licked my two fingers and dunked a couple times. All right. Yeah. 
That's what I did. But it was good. It was good. I don't know if the HHG loved it, but uh, I but I gave her the lowdown at work. Hey, okay? told her like all the different. I said I said so so I said so when Finn Balor comes out, you know you got to do this and this. I said and, and Braun Strowman get these hands and hello I am Elias. What's WWE stand for? Walk with Elias. So she knew all the key things. Okay. Yeah. So she said she had a good time though. <laughs> Right? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen the commercial for the A and W hamburger? Not recently, no. They're advertising real cheese. Oh, they're getting down with it, are they? Okay. I got a problem. The point of pink fingers up. Yes. I got an issue with that. Yes. It's a fast food burger. Yes. Why do I care if there's real cheddar cheese on it? Because people still eat out and if they're gonna eat somewhat healthy they'll go to A and W. And have a burger? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think that's the reason? Maybe. I think, you know what? I just want the fake cheese. I'm there for a fake <laughs> burger. I'm there. I'm not being healthy at the A. I'm not being healthy at the A&W. I'm eating right? a fake burger. So and I please. Want, I want the fake American cheese. Would you please right? give me some fake cheese? I want some fake cheese. Fake that's, cheese. That's what I'm wanting. Got it. Yeah. You don't ever think that? No. No? <laughs> huh. I don't really care. These are the odd things that go through my mind. I know. So we cooked ribs the other night. Did you know? So the night of the Super Bowl, bad enough that we're having chicken balls because that's Mike's new go-to appetizer, chicken balls. Really? Chicken balls, matzo sticks, Ooh. and you know how I like those little meatballs? Uh-huh. Those. Yeah. And ribs. Big mother, fu- big mother fucking ribs. <laughs> like, 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 hello, I'm Fred Flintstone. <laughs> like, like big honking ribs. Uh, why? I don't know. Apparently he must have been needing some meat. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> But it was his his whole thing. He had it under control. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here you want to know the recipe? Uh-huh. Okay. You take the ribs. Uh-huh. Because it, so, they're, so they're like melt off the bone ribs. Uh-huh. You cook them on 275 uh-huh. forever. Uh-huh. Because that's what happens at 275. Uh-huh. You cook them forever. Yeah. Five hours. Uh-huh. Wrap them in tin foil. Okay. It's like pulled pork. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then you put some sauce on them. And apparently you're very happy with them. You know what? Yeah, I was. Yeah. But you know what? I, you know my theory on a rib, right? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of So I cut the meat off the rib, right? I don't want to touch it with my hands, right? So I forgot. Right? Too. So I so I appreciated the fact that it that it was so slow and tender because it made cutting it off the rib that much easier, yeah. right? So that's my gig, right? But yeah, we still have another whole slab of them to like make. Yeah. He bought so many. Like and these are like big like Fred Flintstone. Yeah. And then you know what happened. I guess when we were cooking them, a little bit of grease must have gotten into the oven. <gasps> Did you have a grease fire? No, but listen to this. Uh-oh. Yesterday, I tried to cook. I was going to cook some chicken fingers. Uh-huh. And I just Did turned... you light your stove on fire? No, it didn't catch on fire, but I just turned it on and uh, like let it heat up to 400, like yeah. you're supposed to, like the box says on the chicken fingers. Uh-huh. And uh, and all of a sudden... Because you're that kind of cook. That kind of, I'm that kind of cook, hey? <laughs> and then I went to open it because the little light went off, right, uh-huh. which tells me... Yeah. Put it in. Yeah. Open. There was like black smoke everywhere. <laughs> I almost burnt down the house. And then, I, you know what AJG said to me when I told her about this? Do you know how to get rid of a fire if there's a fire? No. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know you got to use the baking soda? Yes. Well, my baking soda is at the back of my fridge. Do you know I got to move <laughs> the chocolate milk, the milk, the milk, and the water to get to it? Guess what? The apartment's burned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's burning. I'm burning down the house. Oh, my That's God. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Of course, you're almost burning your house yeah, down. Yeah, isn't that crazy? And then hoping, because you know when you're in an apartment, you don't want to be the person that sets off the fire alarm, where everybody has to evacuate. Yes. Right? Because yes. that'd be embarrassing, and it's minus 50. That is embarrassing. Yeah. Very embarrassing. And you don't want to see your neighbors. No. And I don't want them to see me. Not really, no. No. Right? Yeah. I'm in my tank top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my, <laughs> and your capri pants and your woolly socks. <laughs> Girls' toes get cold. <laughs> you got to pull out the woolies. Right? <sighs> Uh-huh. Okay, why were you talking to me about rice the other day? Because do you What like, is your you have weird fascinations with things. Oh, I really like I really Rice li- is just rice. I really like rice. Right? So ever <laughs> since I learned how to cook the white rice not too long ago, cuz for the longest time when I was cooking is white Is that the white rice out of the box yeah. or the white rice or the rice packages that you get with First like off, the First right now I'm talking about the white rice out of the box. Okay. So ever since I learned how to cook that properly uh-huh. right because before i used to make it and i never read all the instructions right and once it boiled and then you know i would just take it off the stove uh-huh. for five minutes uh-huh. and then it never ever seemed to cook right okay. Cause it's got to stay on the element oh so then i learned to really like rice but now you know like the packaged rice uh-huh. right why doesn't it ever get soft it never ever 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 gets soft you can you can cook it and it, there's no water left and it's all like and you let it and then you fluff it and it's still hard 
Why? <laughs> is it like is it like lower quality rice? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. That's what I want to know. Lower quality rice. If it's like, is it like... Are you shaming it? Is that what we're doing now? Well, I don't know because you know what? It's seven minute rice <laughs> and I can cook it for 10 and it's still the same. Don't cook it. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to get it so it's soft. <laughs> right? I think you're missing a step. I don't have to reread it. Just cross my mind. Okay. Because I see you know up. that rice isn't like gushy. But it's not hard. Well, it's kind of hard. Best rice is sticky rice. Yes. That's good. That's good Like from the Japanese restaurants. Yeah. That's good rice. Uh Yeah. I don't know. And then, you know, my other thing that was on my mind Hmm. is, you know, like I wear glasses. As I do, too. Yeah. Do yours get dirty on the inside? (laughs) Yes, they do. Why? (laughs) And how? Why and how? Right? Just from day-to-day wear. No, I understand the outside. It's day-to-day wear. But But we're not touching the inside. I don't touch the inside of my glasses. How do they get a thumbprint? <laughs> oh, it's like a magic thumbprint. How do they just get? How do they get dirty on the inside? Because you at some point touch them. I don't. Not the inside. Uh huh. You know the work you have to go to. <laughs> uh, like like look at like look at right now. Like I'm gonna poke my eyeball out before I touch my glasses. I Samantha. don't know, Lisa. Huh? But yours get dirty on the inside. Yes, of course. Weird. Yes. Like Thanks. everybody else. Yeah. Do you clean yours with a soft cloth? If I was a good person, yes. So here's my question with the soft cloth, right? Uh Because when you get new glasses, they give you one. Is it meant to last a lifetime? No. Right? I think you probably have to buy a new one. Because they get the soft cloth gets dirty. Yes. Because it's cleaning your dirty glasses. (laughs) Right? So that's I don't really understand. Or you could wash it. You could wash it. You could wash it. Could you wash it? You could wash it. You know? I don't know. I'm just saying. (laughs) Those are the weird things that go through my head. Yeah. Because you're weird that way. I know I am weird that way. I'm like crazy weird. Okay. Here's something weird. Uh huh. Have you ever tried this? Huh? Cheese whiz and toast? Yes. HHG is big thing, hey? I'm surprised she eats toast. I know. Or maybe it's because I'm remembering that she used to do keto. Yeah, I don't know if she's doing keto now. Now I think she said that I don't eat diet. <laughs> Yeah, but um, but is she just drinking coffee again. I think she's back to just coffee. Oh, That's all I've seen. I've only just seen coffee for the last two weeks, oh, right? Oh my god. She's going away, so she's trying to drop a couple pounds. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It won't drop where she need, wants it or needs it. She doesn't need it to drop, <laughs> Samantha. Right? She's just tiny and perfect the way that she is. Tiny and perfect. Right? There she doesn't you go. need to drop the weight. But but she said I, I we were talking the other day about like jam and peanut butter, and she doesn't do either. She does cheese whiz. Huh. It's not weird. Well, cheese whiz on toast is really good, I've though. never had it. I don't understand what? it. No, I don't understand it. Okay, you're weird. Why am I weird? Because cheese whiz is good. Cheese whiz goes on, like, your hot dog. No. Ew. <clears throat> or on a cracker. Mm, you maybe. wouldn't put cheese whiz on a hot dog? No. Why? Yeah. Ew, really? Ew. Why? Well, okay, because I'm on hot dogs, mm-hmm. it's mustard. And oh, relish, yeah. and we're not talking about anything else. No ketchup. I will, I will throw some onions on there, maybe yeah. some sauerkraut, but my hot dog is not cheesy, nor is it ketchupy. Mm. It's nothing like that. But yet you'll make it uh, chili. Yeah. You'll do a chili dog. Yeah. But you won't do no, huh? Nope. Not cheese whiz. So yeah, so I, I'm not about to try the cheese whiz and toast. I think it would make my toast mushy. <laughs> That's how I, I see it to be it mushy doesn't. toast. I think it would be mushy it's just toast. Cheese whiz. I don't know, Samantha. You're weird. I don't know. Did you know? Here's something interesting. Yes. 67 years ago, yesterday, so February the 6th. Yes. The queen became the queen because her dad died. Aw. Yeah. That's so, a long time. That's all I got to say about that. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a point. <laughs> it was just a poignant point. Uh huh. Yeah. Because we love the queen. Because we love the queen. We love the yeah. queen. Yeah. That's all. All right. Okay. 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 What's wrong with mushroom soup? Nothing. Okay. It's my favorite soup. You're allergic to mushrooms. Not Campbell's mushroom soup, no, I though. Don't I'm, not, I'm not allergic to the Campbell's mushroom soup. I don't understand. I love the Campbell's no, mushroom soup. No, I don't. Soup. I don't get it mm-hmm. then. Yeah. How can you hate mushrooms but eat mushroom mushrooms. soup? It's different. No, it's not. It it's still a mushroom. Not really. Yes, it it's is. It's just a little square piece. <laughs> And the soup doesn't taste mushroomy. <laughs> right? It doesn't taste mushroomy. Oh, my God. That's all. I'm just saying. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously. This is this is how you make that right in your brain? In my brain, that makes it right. Yeah. Because oh it doesn't taste mushroomy. I don't understand And they're just right like now. little squares of mushrooms, right? No. You just like chomp, chomp, chomp. You just like swallow them with the crackers. That's all. Well, okay. Okay. Let's be honest. 
as I out you to the world. Okay. You really like soup because it has crackers. Well, you know what? Dear and soup, the, thank you for crackers. Because <laughs> right? that's the only thing interesting you in soup. Yes. Is the fact that you can squish crackers. I can squish into, crackers. Yeah. Into it. Yeah. And I tell you, I can eat like a whole arm of crackers. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I love the crackers. Because it's like crackers with a side of soup. With a side of soup. <laughs> and then when the crackers are done, I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. Did you want? Oh, you didn't finish all your soup? No, oh, actually, I finished all my crackers. Reminds me of the lady at the Blue Diamond restaurant. <laughs> She's got your number. She does, right? <laughs> she certainly does. And I'm like, with extra crackers, please, and feel free to charge me for that, <laughs> right? And she doesn't. And she doesn't because she thinks you're weird. I know because I am a little bit weird. <laughs> so that's my thing. That's it. Doesn't taste much for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's Fine. all. That's Whatever. all I'm saying for you, Samantha. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. But we're like all about food right now. I know. It's because cause... we're in survival mode because it's butt ass cold. Because we're holding on to our fat. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Our that's fat's what's not happening. going anywhere. But our topic for this week yeah. is appetizer versus dessert. And that's courtesy of the HHG. Yes. Right? And I know where I land. Do you? Yes. And where do you land? In the appetizer side of life. And I am the opposite. I know. I'm the dessert. Because <laughs> I really think appetizers. They the bomb. Okay. Two thumbs up. But here's the thing. Two thumbs up. And you know what? There's. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with appetizers because I've been known to participate. Uh-huh. Right. But the beauty of a dessert, right, uh-huh. is that the dessert is is I have my supper was great. I have room left over. I can have a dessert. <laughs> Problem with the appetizer, Samantha, is there's a chance I'm gonna ruin my supper. Oh. Right. So. That's all I'm saying. Because really, in the world of appetizers, yeah. it really is the complimentary item to your entree. Uh, yes, it is. Dip, but yes, uh, it is. But is it the really? Apps, the appies, to be honest, the appetizers could be a meal. They're so... Yes, they could that's be. That's the beauty of them. That's, They're so versatile. Okay, but... Have right? you ever noticed though that 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 when you say you can't say that it's complimentary because appetizers don't make any sense. Yes, they do. Not with your meal. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they I'm eat. gonna have some pasta yes. and potato no, skins. No, nope, How does they that do. even make sense? <laughs> How does that even make sense? Because you're gonna have a potato with your meal. Not if I'm having pasta. Traditionally, I wouldn't have a. Po- but if I you're having have... pasta, you're not having potato skins. You and I have had potato skins with pasta. No, we have not. Really? Yes, we have. <laughs> oh, yes, we have. Okay. I don't agree with you. I know you don't. I don't agree with you. That's fine. Okay, because I feel like desserts, they're fine, whatever, but I really enjoy a good appetizer because I'd rather eat all my food right away and then not think, oh, I have to add a dessert. Really? No, I don't want, because you know what? I don't want anything sweet after. That doesn't make sense. That's what a cup of coffee's for. No. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. No. So the thing is, no, you know, you're missing the whole point because, you know, you would like desserts if you understood why they make me, why they're my favorite thing. Okay, fine. Tell me. Okay. So why I love desserts, Samantha. Okay. (laughs) All right. Right. It's happy food. Right. It lightens my mood. It's got sugar in it. It's got sugar in it. It brightens my day. Right. Uh, You know what really brightens my day? Uh Grocery store birthday cake. Right. (laughs) That brightens my day. That does brighten your day. I love a good grocery yes. store birthday yes, cake. Yes, you do. With the icing. Remember, you used to be able to buy it by the piece. Oh, remember? God, that was the best. Ugh. Okay, it gives me energy. Cause it's got sugar That's in it. Little, you know, it's like a reward. <laughs> you ate all your food, Lisa. Here's a dessert. <laughs> right? Makes the meal more uh, memorable. Yes. Right? And here's the other thing. You know what? It makes life more fun. Desserts make life more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And if you think about it, right, desserts are connected to certain events. Well, so are appetizers. So they're not, right? Yes, they are. So, so for example, when I go back to Ontario and I drive from my sister's house down to where I grew up, uh-huh. and you'll see this this summer, right? We're going to stop in a little farm outside of Aurelia and get butter tarts. And then you're going to remember that part of the trip based on, not the chicken wing, <laughs> based on the butter tart, Right. <laughs> That's the difference right there. Uh, based on the butter based tarts. Based on the butter tarts. All right. Because that, cause, because you're going to be like, oh, remember that part of the trip? And you'll have a memory. I think I know why I like appetizers more, though. Why? Because they're fancy. And I'm a little fancy. You don't yep. think that a good dessert is fancy? Mm. Really? No. A crudité? What is that? A what crudité? is a crudité? A crudité? Is that a dessert? Is that a dessert? It's an oi d'oeuvre. It's an oi d'oeuvre? It's an oi d'oeuvre. Is, is, is an oi d'oeuvre different <laughs> than an appetizer? Actually... 
uh, appetizers and hors d'oeuvres are the same thing, kind uh-huh. of, where it listed there's in Wikipedia is the same thing. Uh-huh. But hors d'oeuvres are outside the meal, which is a one bite item that's either stationary or passed or served prior to the meal. Huh. And it's typically finger food like crudité, crudité, canips, All right. <laughs> canapes, canapes, sorry, deviled eggs and bruschetta. So that makes sense to me. In my world, I totally understand the difference. Appetizers. Nobody's having a, a deviled egg appetizer. No. Oh. That, that food is typically served at like cocktail hours and things like that. Funerals. Oh my God. Right? What about the hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> what about the hors d'oeuvres at a funeral? That's the best, right? The little, the little finger sandwiches. The little finger sandwiches. And the deviled eggs. Yes. Funeral food. Okay. But appetizers, they kind of can appear as like first courses. Okay. And they're slightly larger and composed in a way that complements the entree. Hmm. Really? Yeah. They act like a meal. You could have an appetizer as a meal. You could. So that's the beauty of an appetizer is that they're versatile. Desserts, they're just one trick pony. No. They're a one nope. trick pony. Nope, nope, nope. Desserts are no, no. Desserts are no longer like that. They're not thought of it like that. You can have a dessert anytime. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you can have a dessert. There's no, the desserts don't come with the rules anymore. Yeah, see, but, okay, you not say your the mama, des- It's not your mama's day. <laughs> not your mama's day. Okay, but you say desserts are like the best thing to finish your meal? Yeah. The appetizer is meant to whet your appetite. Yeah, but then all of a sudden, oh, I couldn't finish my steak because I ate too many chicken wings. <laughs> right? No. That's all I'm saying. No. Don't get me wrong. I like both, actually. <laughs> you do. I like this. But you're st- going to, okay, if push came to shove, yeah. you're choosing a dessert. I'm choosing a dessert. It's totally. Yeah, unless it's a shrimp cocktail. If it's a true shrimp cocktail. Or a French onion soup. Or a French onion soup. Yes. Right? But then I get too cheap for the French onion soup. Yes. Because yes. the French onion soup is seven ninety nine. <laughs> At the Boston Pizza, it's seven ninety nine. I'm like, mm-mm. Uh-uh. Not so fast, my nope. friend. Not so fast. No. Nope. Okay. But do you have any fun facts for your desserts? Yeah, I have lots of fun facts. I'm like the fun fact queen. Right? <laughs> That's my thing, is I'm all about fun facts. Fine. Method. Did you know that chocolate chips were invented after the chocolate chip cookie? That makes no sense. Yes. Because first off, it was just a cookie. And then this lady, she had bits of, like, she, like, like ground up pieces of chunks of chocolate uh-huh. and added them to it afterwards. Oh. So the chocolate, but, so that's, but the actual. That's how ch- you got a chocolate chip cookie? Yeah, but the actual chocolate chips, that came after the chocolate chip cookie. Did you ever eat chocolate chips as a kid? Sometimes, yeah. We did one time, right? My mom had some, and then, it, and then, but we weren't supposed to, right? <laughs> and we did, and then we were caught off guard. Because you, you are those children. Yeah, and we were caught off guard and startled, and we dropped the bag, uh-huh. and we swept them under the stove. Yeah. Did I don't ever want to know. They melt. Probably they did. Probably oh, they would have. My God. Yeah, probably they. Would Your have. mother never found out. I don't know if she did. Oh my God. I don't know. I never. Oh my God. I don't remember. You're I, horrible children. You were horrible. I know. Did you know oh that the German God. German chocolate cake has nothing to do with Germany? No, I know. Nothing. That's horrible. Nothing. Did you know that Boston cream pie is considered a cake? Why? I don't know. I didn't check that. I just saw that. Okay. You can't share My with My job world. is not to school the world. <laughs> My job is just to tantalize you with some facts. Not to overkill you oh, with the detail. Whatever. Girl Scout cookies were originally homemade, and the mint ones are the most popular. Of course. Here's the coolest thing. Uh-huh. And one day we're going to check it out. We're going to go to Beverly Hills. There is a 24 hour cupcake ATM. That sounds really odd. Sounds really good. That sounds odd. Sounds really, really good. Odd. Very Not odd. Not odd at all. Okay, I found some fun facts of you appetizers. What? <laughs> you got fun facts? Yes. Did you know that they were introduced by the Athenians? No. As a buffet in the early 3rd century BC? No. Really? That's cool. What did they serve? They served really weird stuff that really? I couldn't pronounce. Really, really weird yeah. stuff. Okay, and it's considered a sense of leisure uh-huh. and abandonment and abundance. Yeah. So that sounds more like your cup of tea, actually. Yeah, but it means you're just starting off a little piggy. Oink, oink, oink. Yeah. Yeah. Starts, and it's to start with salty foods to stimulate your appetite. And it's, and the salty meats, uh, that you can eat as an appetizer. Yeah. So where does digestion? So where does the sorbet come in? When are we cleansing the palate? That's like your, that's to cleanse your palate. It's no. got nothing to do what with What stage of the food are we cleansing? That's like before the entree. So after the appetizer? I would imagine. I just eat that now I gotta cleanse my palate. Apparently. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, this is interesting. Okay. Apparently, there's an increase in sharing and snacking behaviors among restaurant customers. Oh. The Appies appeal to millennials. Of course they do, <laughs> right? As 
they are a snacking group. They like to share and graze. That's my kid, that's my friends. <laughs> Those are my people. They do like to graze. This is not you. <laughs> <laughs> and well, if you are them, then you're a cow, because grazing sounds like grazing a cow. Grazing sounds like a cow. Grazing sounds like right, a cow. Chewing on my cud. Yeah. So apparently, bold spices are trending. Okay. Like serrano, harassa, sriracha, habanero, chimichurri. They like hot stuff. Yeah, they like hot yeah. stuff. They spicy. Um, there's not as much risk in trying something new if it's like an appetizer, because it's small, and you can share. Do you know what the HHG said that her favorite is uh, calamari? Ugh. Ew, ew. I know, right? Who <laughs> eats that? <laughs> Like, even if there's enough dip, I'm not eating it. <laughs> not eating squid? No. No. Never. Okay. And apparently, the fastest, gro- fastest growing items are non-fried things because we're getting, we're getting, we're becoming vegetarian people. Okay. Not in my world. That so would like, be the worst appetizer yeah. ever would be the non-fried one. <laughs> no, so, like, lettuce wraps, hummus, meatballs, flatbreads, stuff wow. like that. Trending terms are heirloom, artisan, micro. And heirloom. is not a tomato. Kind of. Hmm. Micro and building your own. Okay. And apparently... 75% of all tables order appetizers before dinner. I can see that. Yeah. I think it's very social. And only 40% around lunch. But oh. if you're fine dining, like yeah. this is casual dining, if you're fine dining, close to 80% order apps for dinner. Yeah, because that's when you have your shrimp cocktail, because you're fine <laughs> dining. Right? I'll take my shrimp cocktail, please. I'd like my shrimp. Or your please. escargots. My escargots. Yeah, that's what you would do. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. You know what I... Okay, do you want to know what the most you, the most popular dessert in the States is? Oh, 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 I think I know. What do you think? Uh, cheesecake. It's cheesecake, followed by number two. Jello. 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 Apple pie. Apple pie. Chocolate okay. cake. And all I... When I saw that, because I, I, I know the apple pie, I thought of American pie. American pie. <laughs> When he's screwing the pie, screwing the pie. right? <laughs> that makes me not want apple pie. Makes me want not apple pie. Chocolate cake and ice cream. I know. Right? I know. That's kind of cool. Okay, what I really thought was Jello, Jello. Yes. Jello. Yes, Jello. And I and then I thought Lisa loves Jello. <laughs> I love Jello. I, I like love Jello so much. Which makes me think she's a millennial who needs to live in the states because apparently yeah. Jello is a big deal. Right? I'm. I, I always thought I was a little bit part American. <laughs> Right here, if you come to Canada, oh. so friends of the podcast, if you come to Canada, yes, this is what you need to be looking for. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is Canada specific. They say. Yes. Okay. Nanaimo bars. West coast. Butter tarts. East coast. Saskatoon berry pie. Here. Flapper pie. Flapper pie. And Sugar pie. Sugar. Quebec. 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 Beaver tails. Uh, kind of Ontario-ish. Yes. But across Canada. And tiger tail ice cream. An anomaly. Who knew? Only to Canada. Who knew? I love Tiger Tail. You, that, that and bubblegum, that's your favorite. I know. So crazy. Look at me. I was I'm really surprised anomaly. at that. Yeah, I was like really, really, really surprised. So yeah, flapper pie is true to the prairies. Yep. Saskatoon berry pie is really the prairie pie. Yes. Even though you can find the berry anywhere. Yeah. But I was really kind of like Tiger Tail. I knew. When I saw that, I'm like, oh... I know who's going to be happy with that. Very cool. Yeah. I was happy with the butter tart. Love tarts. that. I love a good butter tart. I like a good butter tart, too. Yeah. My Raisins? mom makes... My, not a lot. No? Nope. I'm not a fan. Nuts? The walnuts? No, I don't nope. want the walnuts. Nope. I don't want anything. I don't want to waste... I want I want the, the, the tart. Do you want it runny? Mm. I want a little run. A little bit? Yeah. My mom makes really good ones, but dad made her put a lot of raisins in I at Christmas that. time, that and I didn't me. enjoy that. Huh. And I like a thin cr- a thin tart crust. Yeah, yeah. A thin crust. I do too. Because I don't like thick crust. No. No. Because you know what? I'm not there for the crust. I'm there for the filling. I'm there. <laughs> right? We're there for the filling, We're there people. for the filling, Samantha. We're there for the filling. Let's okay. Be Most popular appetizers? Yep. Buffalo wings. Okay. Number one. Yep. Deviled eggs. Really? Yes, huh. deviled eggs. It's Remember weird. when the HHG brought us deviled eggs? <laughs> yeah. So nice and, and then so it's wonderful. Not yeah, it smelled like toots. <laughs> Spinach and artichoke dip. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. that's our go-to. Yes. Uh, buffalo chicken dip. Never even heard no. of. That. Have we ever met a spinach and artichoke dip that we didn't like? Once. There was one. I don't remember where no, it was from. It was too dry. Yeah. 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 That's the only reason we didn't like we it. We didn't like it. It was too dry. Yeah. Uh, cheesy quesadillas. Oh, Mexican dip, the eight-layer dip. I don't like that's too much work, <laughs> right? Because you're lazy. Give me a seafood dip different, <laughs> right, with the cocktail sauce? Yes. Yum. Okay. Jalapeno poppers. No. Jalapeno. What about the dill pickles? No. 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 Not huh. Nowhere. Nowhere. Nobody likes that shit. Really? Calamari is on there, though. Oh. I know. Who likes that? I Nobody. don't know, because it's gross. Yeah. And I don't understand. That's kind of funny. Okay. 
I did a little. I have a little. I have a little bit of research. Uh oh. Okay, you ready? Okay. It's all about how often people order dessert. Why? Do you know? Okay, so in our age bracket, right? We're like uh, 45 to 54. We 33 percent of okay, our hold age. Hold on. In four more years, I go into another bracket. Yeah, you go into another bracket. Jesus. I didn't even do that bracket. <laughs> As I'm like, that's too far gone, right? 33% of people our age order a dessert once a week. 39% of all people order dessert two times a week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. People who order the most, 25 to 34. 49% of them order. Because they think they won't die or get old. I guess so, right? Uh, 18 to 25, so 45%. Okay. Yeah. Right? right? Once a week. Huh. Huh. Hmm. But, what, like, when you're at home, do you think of what's a, like, what's a dessert at home? No, nothing. It's just a snack. Mm, no. Really? Yeah. If you have a bowl of ice cream, that's not a dessert? No, I don't have ice cream in my house. What do you have? I have nothing. What's your go-to food? Mm. What are you eating after Maybe supper? I... Mm. Come on. No. Come on. No. Nothing. I have nothing. Well, right now, because you haven't gone to shoppers to buy your groceries, <laughs> right? But if you had groceries... <laughs> if I had... Gro- maybe a cookie now? Really? Maybe a cookie. That's your thing? Yeah, maybe. Huh. Yeah. Not like a yogurt? Mm. No, I have yogurt sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Not like a cake? Like a no. mug cake in a hand? No. Nope. Mug cake? No. Nope. That's no. you. That is completely Hi, you're me. naming you. I am completely naming me. <laughs> but I don't really eat a lot of that at home. But I could. I have it. Yes. I could if I you wanted could. to. Um, you know what? My thing, too, and they say portable desserts, like the milkshakes and the smoothies. Oh, yeah. They're really popular with the My Millennials. Yeah, yeah, they are. They take it and go. Yep. Take it and go. Take it and go. That's what they do. Right? But it, they think it's food, and it's not. Well... But it kind of is. Mm-hmm. Really? Like, yeah. I could have a shake. Like, if somebody said, have a chocolate shake every day for breakfast, I'd be like, okay, sure. <laughs> I could do that. Like, every day for breakfast, have a chocolate every shake. Day. It'd be so good. Don't you ever just crave a chocolate shake? No. Really? No. You're not a milkshake girl, though. No. I could do a milkshake. Yes, I yeah. am. Yeah. I'm a milkshake you girl. Eat, and you drink about a quarter of it, and then you throw it away. Yeah. But it has to be, <laughs> my milkshakes have to be really, really, really cold. And right. thick. And thick. And then you can't drink them. Yeah. And then they get gross. And, and then, then you I don't, don't like them. Then I don't like them. It's a circle. But then I kick them to the curb. It's a circle of crap. I know. So, it's kind of funny, hey? Okay. What'd you think? Well, I think appetizers are better. I didn't sway you? No. No. But well, you're not a sweet tooth not girl. In the, not in, like, at all. No. But you'll but you'll join in on a dessert. Yes. But never, ever, ever have I ever heard you say, oh, I'll oh. take that brownie. No, right? I'm no. always saying, like, can we split one? Yeah. I'm, I'm always. Because I'm more. Um, and you're always a, like, did you want an appetizer? Yeah, because yeah. I like savory things. Yeah. I like uh. I like dippy things. I like things to dip my taco chip in. Yeah, and, you do. And stuff like that. You do. So. You do. I'm more of that girl. You're more I will of always girl. be that girl. Oh, cause does, just because you order a friggin' appetizer doesn't make you snotty, Samantha. <laughs> It makes me cultured. It doesn't, right? <laughs> a, bru- a bruschetta does not make you cultured. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. <laughs> right? Bruschetta. Right? Canapé. Right? <laughs> Crudité. Crudité. <laughs> Deviled eggate. Hang on long. Right. Hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. If I say that, I'm going to start choking. <laughs> right? Because I'm still sick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Right. I'm looking right at you. I know how to I know. Now my husband's sick, too. Oh. Mike caught it. Oh. He caught the cold. He caught the, he caught the he cold. Caught the cold. It didn't keep him from going to work, though. No. He, oh, hi. Nothing's keeping him. He's a worker. <laughs> that boy goes to work. He takes his two little pills and puts them in his back pocket and takes those when ding, time to take those two pills. Takes the green ones, right? So it dries them out. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Did I tell you I took the pot pills? No. I took pot pills. I bought pot pills. HHG and I buy pot pills. Speaking of pills. Speaking of pills. <laughs> I bought pot pills. Right? Yeah. 15 for 20 bucks. Yeah. And uh, it's like pot, I don't know, is it pot oil? I don't know what it is. Uh-huh. But, right? They're just like little, but they, like, they're just like pills. Okay. And I took one last night. I feel like we're having another conversation that we've already had. Today? I feel like we're having a circle moment and I feel like. Are we? Have we already talked about this? Did we talk about it? I don't it? know. I don't know. That could be the pot. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, my God. Did we talk Did about we it? Did we eat something at the Chinese buffet that we weren't supposed to? I don't to? know. Now I'm thinking <gasps> about pot. Maybe they're, maybe they're the pot people. Maybe. Maybe they put pot in their food. Maybe. <gasps> maybe. That's why Michelle likes to go there. That's why it's her favorite, <laughs> right? It was busy. It was super busy and brand new because it burned down and it burned down and then you asked me when I went to the bathroom how I are the did. bathrooms I said they spent money in the bathroom they did that's like there was like a lot of them too hey it's so crazy uh, okay but did we I don't know 
Did we talk about it? I don't know if we did. I know we did on our Facebook Live. Yeah. But did we? Is that the conversation I'm remembering? Uh, Maybe. Did I have a pot pill? I slipped one, right? That's what friends do. I slipped you a pot pill, right? (laughs) Right? Oh, shit. Right? (laughs) No, I'm not. I don't know. If we already talked about this, friends. Oh, my God. You know, it's minus 42. (laughs) We've been in a car, right? So, I don't know. Is this carbon monoxide? It could be. No, but the, we're outside. No, we're not. We're inside the car. Samantha. I know, but we're like, not outside. But the car is outside. Right? We're not you, in a do you remember, garage. Do you, okay, do you remember when you put the recording sign on backwards? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was the Facebook Let's Live. Let's start from there. That was the Facebook Live. <laughs> but we did talk about pot pills on that's Facebook true. Live. So, I don't know. We may have. We could be just now rambling. Well, that's true. But she, right. okay. But tell the story because it's kind of funny because you thought your husband was home and he wasn't. But now I'm thinking maybe I've already told it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my god. I don't recall. I don't recall either. I don't recall. Okay. I did tell it on Facebook yes, Live. You did. I definitely did. But did we Because the HHG said that no, he wasn't home. I woke myself up snoring. And I'm not a sleeper. I'm not a sleeper. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh That's my what god. the pop pills did though. They didn't make me have longer sleep, made me have a deeper sleep. But Short, deep sleep. But that's okay. Yeah, I still woke up as much. <laughs> Right? I don't know. Weird. Oh, my God. I know. I might try two. I think we're great. No, don't. No, just one pill? No, I think... That no, girl no. said she took four. No, okay, but she's a long user. She's a long-term she's a long-time user. Time but, you know, and here's my concern, right? You're right. You can't. You can only take one. You know why? It's a gateway drug. <laughs> it's a gateway. Yes. Next, I'll be snorting the cocaine. No, you, yes. You, you don't, don't monitor. Like, you don't like anything going up your nose. Unless so it's drist and nasal <laughs> mist in a pinch. I can handle that, right? You're not doing any of I'm that. I'm not doing any of that. But it's a gateway, so you've got to be careful, oh, Samantha. Yes. Okay. Right? I'm just right. saying. Okay. Man. Oh, my God. My mind is frozen. Oh, my God. My mind is frozen. Okay. Right. Lisa. Samantha. People need to share us. Yes, they do. You know what would be great, guys? If you just told more people about us so we could have more people in our Facebook yeah. group. Yeah. Come we join just, us. We want to talk to everybody. We do. And we just want to have some fun and get to know the people that come and join us. Just laugh and have fun, right? We do the would you rathers, yeah. right? We post something on Monday, nobody cares. <laughs> post something on Tuesday, <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. Cared. Post would you rather Wednesday, <laughs> everybody cares, right? <laughs> we want you to care every day, friends of the podcast. Every day we every want you day. caring. It would be nice. Right? Drop us, drop us a line, drop us a note, yeah. right? Do you want us to talk about something? Let us know. Let us know. Direct messages on Facebook. Yeah. Or drop us a line through our Instagram. Yeah. We're right. good. We're there. Yeah. But just share us. Tell tell your people. You want to listen to two crazy girls talk about pot pills <laughs> for the second, third, fourth time? Because <laughs> they can't remember. Cause they don't re- that's because we're getting old. We're getting old. We're getting old, Samantha. We're getting old. <sighs> right? Lisa. Samantha. We have a joint I shake my head today. We do. But do you want to do ours first or should we do the one that HHG? Oh, let's do the HHG first. So the HHG, she's got a nice shake my head for us. Mm-hmm. Okay? So she, you know how she has her Airbnb. Yeah. Right? But she rents out the basement. Yes. Right? And she had somebody living there. Mm-hmm. And out of the blue, this person said, maybe with two weeks left in the month, I'm moving out Tuesday. I so gotta go. I gotta go. Moving out on Tuesday. So no notice. No. Right? No notice. And HHG, she's pretty good support, right? Yeah. Right? Because she's like a people pleaser. Right? <laughs> so, okay, no problem, right? Even though probably in her mind, she's like crazy. Thinking like, really? Uh-huh. So, so, so we're at work. She gets a text message. So these people have moved. They've jumped ship. Mm-hmm. Right? They've moved. She gets a text message from the father saying, just wondering if we can get our, depo- our our damage deposit back. She, here's the funny thing people don't know about the HHG, Samantha. She's got white rage. <laughs> she has white rage. She said, she, she said, she goes, I, she's like, she's like, oh my God, my heart. She made me touch. I touched her heart. Her heart was like beating out of her chest. She had so much rage oh over this. God. Do I get my damage deposit back? Who expects? First off, right? You, you should, left. You should be paying me. No notice. You should be paying me one month's rent. Yes. And you left with no notice. And now you want me to give you your de- damage deposit back? Huh? I shake my head. Uh-huh. Right? That's bullshit. That is bullshit. Yeah. So I said to her, don't you dare. Don't you keep it forever. <laughs> right? Like, who does that? Who sends a know. message? Hey, do we get that back? Hey, did you know that your daughter moved out with no notice? Uh-huh. Right? <gasps> daughter probably didn't say anything. No, they, no, because the parents came and moved her. So they're all just a bunch of bad people. Aww. They're all just bad people. That sucks. Yeah. 
Okay. We have a joint one. Yeah. Go ahead. We're going to bitch. We're going to bitch him, though. Okay. So this is what I observed today when we were eating at the Asian buffet. Okay. The cold weather yeah. brings out the plus-size people in very bad clothing. I realize They're that buffets, buffets are for the people who are already well encased. Encased. In fat. Maybe. In fat. Yeah. Right? I you feel- look like you're trying so hard to like... <laughs> I was trying to be find, politically correct. I was trying to find a nicer word for it. But, but we're fat. Uh, yes. Yeah. And but better clothed. Better clothed. <laughs> yeah. Right. We, just because it is minus God knows what outside does not mean you leave your home looking like a pig. Looking like you just rolled out of bed. No, because you know what? That looks not acceptable as adults. No. Right. And I think if you're going to take the make the effort, make the effort to leave your home. Yeah. Put on clothes that doesn't make you look like a homeless person. Samantha, I'm driving Mike to work at 8.30 at night, minus 50, going point A to point B, not going anywhere. I got my jeans on. I got a hoodie on. Yeah. I got a bra on. Because you know what? What happens if I crash this bitch and I'm in the hospital and I'm not wearing panties? Right? What happens? Why don't people think like that? I don't know. Right? I don't know. I drive. I just... I get it. It's cold. Yes. We are wearing weird clothing layered to the our, our nuts. Yes. I get it. However, it's a public place. You said yesterday on our on our <laughs> on our I shake my head Snapchat, you said you froze your nuts off. And I don't even have nuts. And I said I froze my nuts off the other day. Right? And HHG said she froze her nuts off in the eighties. Right? Right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, because it's so cold. But still, we don't need to go looking like Horrible. something that just like that the cat dragged Ugh. in, right? There's no need. No. There's no need. We can still just look decent. Yes. And you're right. The buffet brings them all out. Well. Right. All I thought was, there's a reason why we're eating at the buffet, <laughs> <laughs> and we're there too. So I lump us into that as yes, well. Yes, but we just looked better. <laughs> we just looked right. Better. We looked like we took a little care today when we woke up, <laughs> right? We look, we look like we thought. You know what? I may run into somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little lip gloss on. I might not know them, but <laughs> there's a chance I may still interact with another human today. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's kind of funny. So our topic for next week. Yes. Is well, oh. we're gonna talk a little bit about Valentine's Day, but people not in the way that you think. Are you sure, Spanta? <laughs> even now that you're all like lovey dovey. No, I still feel the you same still? way. Okay, good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because that's all I thought was in my mind. I'm no. like, if we're now debating, no. I love Valentine's Day. No. I hate Valentine's no. Day. Okay, good. But we we will have a special guest for part of the show. Yes, we're gonna have the dirty hippie. The dirty hippie. She's joining us, and the HHG is also going to be sending us. She's gonna be away. She's gonna be in Phoenix. Oh. But she's gonna send us something because you know what I said to her. Like I think we need like lots of people's opinions on on uh, valentine's day yeah yeah mm-hmm. so that's what we're gonna do and the H- and, and the dirty hippie and the dirty hippie. yeah mm-hmm. that should be funny lisa samantha would you like to tell them about podbean yes i would love to friends of the podcast two things this week two number one if you listen to us on podbean mm-hmm. and you love what you hear mm-hmm. and we enrich it we we enrich your life and we give you a good experience feel free to to sponsor the show Yes. Right? So when you listen to the Podbean episode, you're going to see a little money bag over Sam's face. Punch it. Punch it. And you can donate $20, $2, $5, lots of different rewards, yes. different things that we give. We just sent somebody out a mug. Yay! Right? And Jenny Knott, she just she just spawned, she just became a patron, and uh, she's going to actually be on the show. Oh, okay, cool. Right? Because that was her reward for yes. doing the level that she did. She's going to get to call in. And, uh, and also on Patreon... Uh, we also have another sponsorship that we're setting up there too, right? Oh. Yeah, because you know what? It takes a village. It does, right? The, it don't come cheap, Samantha. <laughs> and you know what? And that's the thing, right? If we're if we're adding some value to somebody's life, that's awesome. Okay. Let us know. All right. So uh, we'd like to thank uh, Audio Editing Solutions for making us sound so good. So good. He does a wonderful job. He does. Yes. He's very talented. You can listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or any podcast app that you have. Uh, and you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yes. Join us. Come visit us. Yes. We're always posting and just chit-chatting. Yes. All right, Samantha. Lisa. You know what? What? It's been a little bit crazy today. <laughs> Right? It's cold. We made it through the car. Woo! There's people, there's doubters out there. Yes. There was doubters there was today. There doubters. Right? I could feel that there was some doubters. They're never going to make it through the, through, through the car tonight. But
But we did. We did. All right. Okay. Okay, now I've had enough of you. <laughs> so, so, Samantha, always a pleasure. <laughs> oh, it should be. This was a podcast from the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.